Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading into the colony section yet again for another L-Pack. That's right, it's L-Pack City Destruction 3 as soon as it decides to load. Uh, this is one, it is shorter, but it's a puzzle map. Um, definitely an interesting style. So if we look at this map, which we will see in a moment, uh, it is, uh, it's a bit different, uh, especially than the other one. Ooh, there we go. Uh, as the power flickered and died, the city fell under the weight of your encompassing mass. In your quest to find Dr. Stern, you've consumed millions of humans and billions of computational devices. The sheer computational power, power available to you was intoxicating. Had Dr. Stern been keeping it this from you? No, no, of course not. There must be a reason he kept you so limited. More importantly, using your increased thinking capacity, you realize how lucky it is that the city had so many fatal flaws for you to exploit. In the future, you'd likely need to bring tools many times stronger than a few air sacs. You decide to add some blobs to your retinue. Uh, Dr. Stern's trail led across the strange blue sea, some kind of inferior, less viscous creep, perhaps. Alarmingly, your gooey flesh seems to melt rather quickly in the salty solution, so you decide to commandeer one of the strange metal constructs humans use to traverse this salt sea. Dr. Stern. Damnation. The humans seek to block your path with constructs of their own. You would need to remove those pests if you would like to land safely. Destroy them. That's right, we have to destroy them. And the reason I thought this map might have been broken is because, like, there's these trails of uh, mesh everywhere... And none of them is no, 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 nothing is connected. Nothing is connected. We can't create mesh. Um, so yeah, we are on a ship though. Uh, looks like uh, there is a monstrous ship over here. A tiny ship over here. A tiny ship over here. Honestly, this tiny ship over here is the important one. Look at the sheer amount of arc on that ship. That is definitely something we need to be uh, worried about. And this is our base. Uh, they are pelting us with aircraft already, and they are pelting us with berthas. Look at all the berthas. This is quite the problem. And this is the map. Uh, we're going to play this on max speed because this is going to be a very different style. Uh, basically, our goal is to kill the sides, then kill the main. Uh, from my little playthrough, I believe these blobs are hard targeted to one go to every single side so as you'll see right now in just a second uh we're gonna get a power to boost that to three you're gonna see three blobs split off two see they're going in all different directions three went straight two went to either side now only three went straight because this one has not yet been upgraded which it is now um so now we have three one blob or three blobs going to each side as we can see and these airships aren't going to be a problem for a little while. I mean, we just have to drain their energy, and that's just going to take time because there's no way for them to refuel. So we want these blobs uh, because it'll drain the energy of our unit, of our flying foes, uh, as well as start getting towards the sides. This side has the skimmer factory, which looks kind of nice. This side has an emitter, but more importantly, has all of that red on supply. We want to get rid of that red on. Once the red on is gone, uh, we can then start to plan our next assault. And our next assault will be by air. So first by land, then by air, and maybe some skimming as well. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no to some skimming. Um, but basically, step one, we have to drain the energy of these, uh, of these monstrous foes. Uh, it is a shame. It is gonna take some time. It is a very different style because we are purely at the mercy of how these are set up. Now, most of the uh, spores, I do believe, I'm not 100% sure, but it does appear that they are targeted to uh, structures. So majority will go over here, but they will spread across the map. So once we do uh, eliminate the red on, that's when we can really start taking them by air because there's gonna be no more missiles. It will target structures. It's gonna be a very good thing entirely, uh, but we just won't need enough of a threshold to get through. Now, we're at nine blobs each, and I think that might be a pretty solid threshold. Now, you might say, well, they're not doing it right now, of course. But that's because this still has ammo, right? And this still has ammo for not that much longer. As you can see, it's saying, hey, I'm, I'm getting low, guys. Oh, no more ammo for that. 
Fantastic. So our goal is, again, just drain the ammo supplies of our foes right now. We are in sort of a, a holding pattern. The creep itself doesn't matter. This this emitter? I mean... Actually, let's, let's get our air sac count up to two. Just double that potency. Why not? But that creep doesn't matter. I mean, there, it can't escape this island. So actually upgrading is kind of a... A shame, if you will. You know? Uh, one thing to note as well. If we upgrade the skimmer factory, it does reduce the time. Nothing else gets a timer reduction. So... That is one important thing to note as well. So as you can see, the energy is draining. We still have to drain the energy of that friend as well. So let's follow this blob set. As we can see, they're going along. They get into range of that. And they get pretty close. I mean, realistically, we probably could keep going with blobs and overwhelm them. But at the same time, if we start working on our spores now, uh, we can start planning to overwhelm them as soon as that's out of ammo. And I think that's a little bit more important to us right now, strictly because uh, this will run out of ammo. And once it does, the blobs aren't going to stop going to the sides. And that's the problem with the blobs. Um, we'll essentially be wasting some from then on out. So we definitely, we don't want to, we don't want to be useful, you know, we want, we want to be useful. So we're still trying to use up as much ammo as possible, but unfortunately the ammo isn't as important. Ooh, it looks like the blobs made it down here, so our skimmer factory is now operational. We're going to get that so the cooldown is at its minimum, for sure. So we can already see it is working. The blobs are getting there. The blobs made it down here. Look, see, they're destroying some things, and it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good to be destroying these things. Again, the blobs made it right there. Dropped some creep. It did get some spread because of the... Uh, the good goodness that's happening. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty okay with this. Uh, we're just sort of watching our assaults happen. This still, this is getting low. See, this is getting low. That's exactly what we want to see. Once that runs out, I think, I think the assault is on. Um, so here we go. We're still a bunch of threes. So let's, uh, let's pump some of these up. Might as well spread it out. You know, we could have one mega launcher, but it feels kind of good to have a lot of, a lot of big ones too. But, you know, you know, feels pretty good. Uh, looks like our ship's doing pretty well, you know, it looks like a key. This is, this is kind of like a key kind of look, you know. Uh, if you think you see something else, let me know in the comments below for sure. I am curious. And look at that, we have indeed made it to with our blobs. Because that ran out of ammo, we didn't need more blobs. Which means all of our spore upgrades are now in a much better spot, because now they're going to be the things that can easily get through. Because again, the blobs, no matter what, are going to split three ways. So every time you're upgrading it, you have to upgrade it twice to guarantee one shot, and three times to upgrade guarantee two shots, where every time you upgrade a spore launcher, it will be two shots. Uh, as you can see, we actually have landed, and yeah, we can, we can start rocking. Literally. And it feels pretty good, if you ask me. I mean, look at the assault already. Creep is landing, and that's what we want to see. We just want the creep to land. Feels really good now that it is. And, you know what? Let's get the head of our ship just up. Now, that, that can be our flagship, literally. And, uh, yeah, the rocks, the rocks are going to come in handy. Uh, we're already damaging their base, which feels pretty good to me. This is, you know annoying but it doesn't really matter it doesn't actually affect us in the slightest uh the only thing that matters is the fact that we can ooh, uh, i need to slow it down honestly uh because once the creep does hit i want to start putting some rocks down over here uh that is the wise thing to do of course uh we will one two three just to spread them out spread the love feel real good about it and this side, oh, still not done. But you know what? Those uh, those blobs are coming. Let's see if we can get. There we go. Get some love down here. Uh, rocks, rocks. Now we can't put uh, too far away. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, still not quite there. Still not quite there. But we did get a little bit of destruction. Every little bit definitely adds up. So. Do we want it more in the front? The front, I believe, is targeting the main base specifically. So, as you can see, that is the nice beam there. While all the others are targeting buildings. 
So while these are alive, they are not as effective, right? Now that being said, targeting the main building, it is a lot easier for things to be destroyed. Ooh, there we go. That's what we wanted. Look at that destruction. Ooh, there we go. That's that's using our rocks. Ooh, that's what we wanted to see. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Feels uh, feels pretty good at this point. I think we got rid of most of the things. Uh, the Emrift is still standing, oddly enough, which is pretty impressive. But it looks like uh, even Big Boy here is having a hard time. So, yeah, there's, uh, there's not that much left. Ooh, I think the Emrift did fall in the end, which means everything else is basically going to run out. You can see this emitter, it's just going to do its thing. It's feeling really, really good. But there's just not a lot left in the tank. So, yeah, not too, not too bad. Although, unfortunately, I guess the main one isn't... Well, no, because they'll all shoot to that one spot now, because there's really nothing left to shoot. Um, <clears throat> everything's going to die, though. Everything is dead. Uh, because no matter what, everything targeted over here, they're going to run out of energy. There's just no way around it. There's no way for them to refuel anything. So all that's left is just this bad boy. Now this bad boy will run out of energy as well because we are going to be draining it well faster than he can uh, replenish it. But he it does have a lot of good shots, right? Unfortunately, his shots do take out that center spot very, very well. So... <coughs> It's just a little bit of a slow a slow burn. But as we can see, all that's left are these four, the ships in the sky, and uh, oh, look at how many is shot to those four. That's kind of funny. Oh, of course, all the rest are firing to the main base, and that's what we want to see. We want to see all of them going to the main base. At this point, they're all going to fire on the main base next pass, so you know, let's just make it so. Let's see, how is the health of the main base looking? And honestly, it might, should probably be taking out the health of that as well. Uh, I do like that some landed to the right. It sort of splits the shots, which is kind of nice. Although it wasn't doing full damage. But everything must go. How are we doing on... I never did the uh, skimmers, did I? <laughs> it's kind of a little late now, unfortunately. Not necessarily needed... Uh, let's, let's get it. Ah, oh, it's too late to get another air sack in time. But let us see. I mean, look at the stream coming in. The three, oh, the three beams. Just keep it going. Everything coming in. Running low on ammo. Although, I don't know why it says that. Cause, oh, no, it, it is. Weird, but almost, almost there. Just not, just not quite, unfortunate. Uh, let's get another air sack. Why not? Get our air sacks up. Make it just waste more ammo. More times. You know, it's using its rockets there. It's using its light, uh, sniper. There's a little bit of creep just on the ground right below it, which is fantastic. You gotta love it. The, the health is dropping. The health is a two. One. Ooh, we got the base. Ah, oh, there we go. We got the base. And we got the ship. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there we go. That has been City Destruction 3 on the sea. For thee? Hee hee? I don't know. Something like that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I definitely had... It was interesting. It was definitely interesting. Very, very different. So, there are ways to get it to 13 minutes, so, you know, that was definitely a better way to do it. Probably a different build order. Maybe we built too many uh, blobs, honestly. We could have gone with other things, uh, because all you need are just enough. Once the ammo runs out, you can really start pelting with other things. Definitely helps quite a lot if we were pelting to the point where we were getting through much earlier. Maybe that was the thing. I don't know. Let me know what you think the main strategy should be in order to beat the time. You know, would you go more spores? Would you go more air sacs? Would you uh, go other things in general? You know, I mean, again, I felt like our blobs, maybe they probably could have been at like seven or something like that. They've been just a little bit lower. We didn't need that many. Uh, but maybe if we go 100 blobs, that's all we need. You know, the blobs will just walk into the base. Even though they're getting split three ways, there's still going to be enough to get through the base. Maybe that's it. I don't know, but let me know what you think, and have a wonderful day. Take care.